What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and Dave Chappelle has had enough. I think we could all understand exactly where he's coming from, given uh, I can't imagine what it'd be like to have a charitable donation like rejected. Um, I remember this one time I had a recliner, and it was kind of beat up, but it was still kind of fine. I took it to a local St. Vincent de Paul's, which is you know supposed to be you know a place you donate things for people to get on the cheap. And they rejected it. So I had this heavy recliner in the back of my truck, and I didn't know what to do with it. This is how recliners end up on the side of the road, by the way. Um, you know, you would think, I get it. They don't want things that are completely busted or broken. They're not a junkyard. But I remember feeling like, what the? Anyway, Goodwill took it. And they probably junked it and wrote it off. And, you know, Goodwill is for-profit company, by the way, remember. So when you make your donations, try to look for local places that are accepting don donations for those indeed in need churches and things of that nature not to say you shouldn't donate to goodwill but if you look into the organization you know pennies of what get you know get put into it uh, actually get to those in need but anyway dave chappelle has been dealing with this um you know where people are telling him uh from a, a school whom he's donated a lot of money to that they don't want his name associated with them so now he has challenged Chappelle starts a challenge to decide if Alma Mater's theater should be named after him. Shut the F up if you don't donate. Comedian Dave Chappelle launched a new fundraising challenge to settle the matter of whether or not his high school, school Alma Mater will name their theater after him. Chappelle's Alma Mater, DC, du DC's Duke Ellington School of Arts, was set to name their theater after him, which Chappelle had said was the most significant honor of his life. However, the school announced mid-November that it was postponing naming the theater after Chappelle following the outcry from woke people at the school who complained over jokes Dave Chappelle made about trans individuals in the Netflix special The Closer. On Friday, Chappelle posted a new fundraising challenge to his Instagram account to determine the name of the theater. The challenge is simple. People must donate to the school and whether or not the theater should be named after him. Whichever side raises the most money wins. Now... That's a pretty genius way to go about it. He writes in a statement, talk is cheap unless I do it. The Duke Ellington School is a glorious institution. Within those walls, I found the context to explore my creativity. Seriously, Duke Ellington in large part prepared me to undertake this noble and difficult profession. It was a fine institution before any of its current occupants got there, roasted. God willing, it will be a fine institution long after their tenure is done, double roasted. My intent is to ensure Duke Ellington the opportunity to train its artists unfettered. Having the theater named after me is a great honor, although that was not my idea, aim, or desire. At the request of the beloved school's founder, Peggy Cooper, I accepted. In April, I intended to honor that request. If you object to me receiving this honor, in April, I intend to rece honor receiving that request. If you object, reject, object to me receiving this offer, I urge you to donate to the school, noting your objection. If you are in favor of the theater being named Chappelle, I urge you to donate to the school, noting your approval. Whichever opinion donates the highest collective dollar amount wins. If by April those against Chappelle Theater exceed the donations for those who are neutral or in favor of it, I will gladly step aside. If not, I will happily attend the naming ceremony. And if you don't care enough to donate, please shut the F up forever. Chappelle reportedly mocked several students this week during a performance at the school when some of the students got mouthy with him. One of the students told Chappelle that he, uh, during a question and answer session, that he was a bigot. I'm 16 and I think you're childish. Chappelle responded with, my friend, with all due respect, I don't believe you can make one of the decisions I have to make in a given day. Chappelle's response was reportedly angered some of those petulant individuals who expected an apology from Chappelle. Politico reported that Chappelle responded to another hostile question from a student by mocking their talent level openly stating that he was better than they were, that no recordings, there were no recordings of the event because Chappelle's team made the students lock their phones in special pouches before he spoke. We'll see. I, I, we'll see if one exists. I have a feeling one does. One of the students who was apparently antagonistic towards Chappelle complained to Politico that the comedian now had more power than they did, and he knew they were nervous to call him out. You could tell we were nervous, the student said. It was a huge power imbalance of this grown man and his camera crew and these 14 to 18-year-olds without their phones, just high school kids. Why? 
say what you want to the man. I mean, you talk so big online, you know, under your pseudonyms, you are essentially anonymous here too. And you, ha you know, there's never been more power for, you know, petulant uh, high schoolers uh, who, who want their, you know, every whim donated to or, or catered to. But I have good news, my friends. Dave Chappelle's high school will be renamed the theater after Dave Chappelle, no matter what. Dave wins. Duke Ellington School of Arts will rename one of the institution's theaters after Dave Chappelle, no matter the outcome of the fundraising contest the comic suggested after his recent visit to the school apparently went off the rails. By the way, going off the rails is like three people who tried to own him in a Q&A session that didn't work. Earlier this month, not long after the Netflix special, the closer created a firestorm. Chappelle's alma mater announced it would postpone a ceremony to rename a theater after the comedian. Last Tuesday, the Grammy-winning comic held a Q&A session for the packed crowd of students at Washington, D.C. school, where those who took issue with his latest and highly controversial Netflix special reportedly made their passionate opinions known. By the way, totally fine that they did. You know, just because you have an opinion doesn't mean it's right. Um, and I think that the, the sooner... Um, kids learn this, the better. Uh, then on Saturday, Chappelle posted on Instagram that he would accept the outcome of the contest he devised in which donations to the school could be made in either way. However, the school says the fundraising contest, while appreciated, is moot. The theater will be renamed after Chappelle. While we appreciate Dave's impromptu and spirited fundraising initiative, we stand behind our decision to honor the wishes of our co-founder, the late Peggy Cooper Caffritz, to name the theater after Chappelle, reads a statement from the school. All donations will go towards art programming and every donor, irrespective of the support or opposition of the theater naming, will receive an official thank you from our team. Essentially saying, get bent. Donate your money, whine about Chappelle, get bent, we're keeping your money anyway. I mean, this is just a huge W for Chappelle and really, I hope yet, just, you know, we talked about this, where so many of these weirdos, you know, got on Twitter and said all these heinous things about Kyle and, and it was, you know, fun to talk about. But then we got to look at the response and they were getting completely ratioed by people that were actually watching the trial. So I found a lot of faith in that. The fact that this school did not bend the knee, the fact that this school is kind of in the leftist sphere and performing arts and things like that, the fact that they refuse to bend the knee... That's a huge win. The continue the statement. Chappelle, the statement continues. Chappelle cares deeply about Ellington and the students and regards them as family. He made an unannounced visit before the Thanksgiving break to meet with the Ellington family and to hear directly from a few students who have concerns about his recent comedy special. He also wanted to directly express support for their safety in light of some disturbing online comments targeting their community. In addition to addressing the renaming, the school statement noted media reports of the interaction during his visit were erroneous. While there have been extensive media coverage about the theater naming and Chappelle's most recent visit to the school, the source stories that have gone viral have been inaccurate, devoid of context, and neglected to include the nuances of art, reads the school statement. Roasted. Roasted the media. As an art institute, we educate our students on the importance of media literacy and art as a free and open form of expression to re both reflect and challenge society. Although it appears that the clear majority of students at Ellington favor naming the theater for Dave Chappelle, we are seizing this moment to demonstrate the importance of carefully listening to every voice within our diverse and inclusive community. So my guess is they pulled the students and they were overwhelmingly in support of Dave Chappelle. I think that it's so easy with like online insanity and online, you know, going viral on Twitter. As Dave Chappelle says, Twitter is not a real place. Things that matter on Twitter very rarely matter anywhere else. And I think it's safe to say that um, we have a situation here that just proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. I'm really hoping that these lazy Gen Zers that want everything in the world to uh, cater to them start to lose even more power. They won't lose more until we continue to ignore them, until we see more people like Duke Ellington School saying, you know what, forget you. Look, we hear you, we hear your complaint, but we're not changing our decision. The sooner people like that start le learning to take an L in life, the better chance that they're going to have at succeeding in life. Because 
quite honestly, it's full of them. Life has far more L's than W's, and the sooner you get used to them, the better. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.